Well, with the regular season all wrapped up, I thought it would be fun to venture into some statistical analysis discovered over the summer. You can find this at planetpigskin.com. Now, one of the biggest determining factors in postseason success is regular season point differential, and you need look no further than last year's Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers, eked into the playoffs as the sixth seed with a 10 and six record, yet number one in the NFL as po in point differential. So while the sixth seed winning the Super Bowl is the exception, number one and number two in the NFL in point differential is the rule. Let me explain. 16 of the last 20 Super Bowl champions were number one or number two in point differential in the regular season. 10 of the last 20 were number one. Six of the last 20 were number two. Now, the other four that I'm speaking of that were the anomalies were some of the oddest years in NFL history. I can point to 2007 when the Giants beat the Patriots in epic upset, and then 2006 when the Colts had their Super Bowl run. That was statistically one of the weaker teams that the Colts fielded, yet Team of Destiny that year. Uh, and then 2005 when the Steelers beat the Seahawks, and Matt Hasselbeck had a chop block called on him. I mean, that was the officiating crew from H-E Double Hockey Stick. Um, and then you also have the Panthers and the Patriots Super Bowl, but that was a very weak season in the NFL. Uh, three teams that year in the playoffs made it to the playoffs with a negative point differential. And that was the only time that happened in the last 20 years as well. So again, now that the season's wrapped up, take a look at NFL.com, check out point differential. Look for the team at the top of that list and then whoever has the hot quarterback with the hot running back and the ball hawking defense, they're going to be your Super Bowl champion. Keep it right here. I'll let you know who I think is going to win. I'm Julie Beeler. Thank you for watching.